The x-rays you see here show a dislocated proximal interphalangeal joint of the small finger. You can see that it's dorsal and laterally dislocated, which is pretty typical. One thing to understand is that pulling on the finger is typically not the reduction maneuver because there are collateral ligaments that are in place, as you see here. The reduction maneuver involves bending the finger back to unlock the joint and then slowly try and translate the finger over the head of the proximal phalanx as seen here. The collateral ligaments are what hold the finger in place and prevent it from being unstable and typically these ligaments are intact even with a dislocation. With this particular injury, unlocking the joint and gently sliding it over the condyle is key, whereas pulling the finger with straight axial loading can actually damage the cartilage. The x-rays we've been reviewing are actually of this patient who came into the office with a dislocated finger and inability to bend it oh, after an injury. Bending. You're the man. That's awesome. He was obviously able to move it immediately after the reduction. We see the patients back in about a week and have them work on range of motion and move it as tolerated.